Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quadruple spell graveyard deck inside of Clash Royale that works beautifully, and let's go and hop into it right now. Now, inside of this deck, you guys are going to notice a total of four spells. Now, you might only see three, but of course, the graveyard is a spell itself as one of the only legendary cards inside of the entire game. Alongside the log is another legendary spell. You've got the poison and the tornado as well, and overall, it makes for a really strong defensive and offensive push inside of this deck, paired together with the Ice Wizard, Mega Minion, the newly buffed knight and of course the monstrosity that's known as the cannon card let's go and show this deck off now for this deck i don't recommend it so much inside of ladder i've tried it a bit on ladder and not just too much success but i do recommend it inside of challenges where i've gotten to double digit wins uh inside of challenges using this deck so let's go and try it out right now all right bringing on against zeus to kick this one off guys of course the cannon card i've been raving about it in almost every single episode because i'm still confused as to why super salt buffed it i still felt like it was a fine card uh when it came down to it I've got my log right now. I'm also going to go ahead and tornado all of this over. And hopefully we get one piglet to attack the king tower, which we do. And that's going to be fine. I've got my cannon card as well. Hopefully this cannon card doesn't die. That was a little bit of an awkward placement right there. That's going to be okay, actually. Cannon card's going to run forward. And uh, overall, we... Uh, I don't know about this matchup. Actually, I played this matchup a lot with the Royal Piglets, and we win if he doesn't split his Piglets, but we lose if he does split his Piglets. So we really want him to be not so great of a player and end up not splitting his Piglets. So let's see what he does. Bats are going to run in. King Tower will actually help out to make it sure we only get one bat hit onto our tower. Don't really know where we want to go with this. I can do Ice Wizard in this lane and sort of just wait to see what he does. He's actually going to go for an Elixir Collector right now. So this is going to be a fair bit interesting. But finally, it's time for us to go with our own push. Here we go. Night Graveyard's running on in. Let's see what Zeus ends up doing. If he goes with something crazy, we can get some good Poison Spell Value. In fact, we can get Poison Spell Value right now against this Goblin Gang, plus this Elixir Collector for some nice little damage. We're not really going to get too much damage onto the tower, but that's fine by me. Ice Wizard is going to go ahead and do its thing. Valkyrie should die in a moment, and all should be well inside of this matchup. Now, bats, that's a, a wild move. We still don't really need to worry too much about the bats. Our King Tower is going to help out a little bit in the very last possible second. Elixir Collector is down opposite lane now, and this could be a little bit troublesome for us. So I'm going to play our Mega Minion right here. Elixir Collector, not really too much we can do about. And uh, yeah, this, this matchup does get pretty ugly sometimes, so I'll get my Ice Wizard ready in the back. Three Musketeers actually going to go down. I'm going to bring those over to the same lane. It looks like that's going to end up working. I've got my log ready in a moment to try to do something against these muskies. I'll go ahead and log this down right now, actually. Looks like we'll be able to get a little bit of value right there. And as we slap our knight on top, that should be okay. Knight's going to be able to clean up the rest of this. Piglet's going down once more. Let's go and cycle to our Ice Wizard right here. And it's time for a super juicy tornado. So much value out of that tornado. We have to log this down just to make sure those piglets don't get too much damage. Woo! All right. That was close. But no cigar right there. Uh, got Looks like our, our cannon cart's going to run through. Elixir Collector still trying to get some value out of it. He's going to give me some really nice poison spell value against these three musketeers. So I'll take that any day of the week. I've got my cannon cart ready once more. And like I thought, he's just going to go ahead and run in with his uh, Elixir Collector. All right, let's go ahead and go in again. I'm going to do Knight. I'm going to use our Ice Wizard just in case he played Bats, which he did. Super delayed Bats, by the way. We're going to start getting some damage done against this tower, but not really too much. Ice Wizard going to go in too. Goblin Gang going down. I've got my log going down for all of this. And I'm going to go ahead and play my Mega Minion right here. Guys, this is just turning into a very, very interesting matchup. I almost want to grab Poison Spell Value against all of this. I'm going to do it. This is really crazy because we're playing Graveyard. So I feel pretty ugly about doing that push. But we have to do what we have to do. Let's go and get our Cannon Cart ready for all of this. Tornado's going down right now. Log's going down as well. King Tower is trying its best to keep us alive right now. Knight's going to go down and try to clean a lot of this up. Cannon Cart's doing a beautiful job. And all right. We definitely sacrificed a lot by playing that Poison Spell. In fact, we might have lost the game doing that. But I'm going to go ahead let this run in more poison spell value on these musketeers cannon guards actually gonna lock on for a couple of hits against that tower which is beautiful Woo! all right we might be right back inside of this battle guys poison spell going in i can play our mega minion right here mega minion's gonna do a fantastic job against this valkyrie's going in i'm a little scared i'm a little scared okay that was a little bit scary Cannon cart's going down again. Really just have to focus on getting something done. I'll use my knight. Honestly, this isn't too scary of a push right there. Bat's going to be going in against this. Ooh, this could be good. 705 uh, HP left on that tower. I'll use our ice wizard to make sure this cannon cart, or to make sure this goblin gang doesn't do anything. But for a really 
terrible uh, start to this game. It's actually going to turn out okay. I'll play my poison spell against these Musketeers again. Notice how I'm keeping them same lane. Split Musketeers is definitely going to be worse for us inside of this matchup. Uh, looks like that'll eventually go down. I'll get a Cannon Cart going down right here. Logging this down to get a little bit of value. Ice Wizard going in. Tornado going down as well. Guys, the defense, too good right now. We're not letting him break through anyway at all. And Three Musketeers is a great deck against uh, Graveyard. Three Musketeers is the worst matchup you can have going against Graveyard. Uh, so the fact that we're holding on so well right now is pretty impressive. In fact, we might even win if we play this just okay. Looks like the rest of this is going in. Bats are going down now. And I just really have to focus on getting spell value. That's the one thing that we need. So I'm going to get Ice Wizard going in on this side. I've got my Tornado going in. Cannon Cart's running forward once more. Cannon Cart getting close to getting onto that tower, guys. Valkyrie has to come down again. He's starting to wisen up a bit, and he's not giving me too much uh, spell value against his towers. So waiting to see when he's going to drop the next set of Three Musketeers. I'll just play our Mega Minion in the back. There he goes with this Three Musketeers now. And this is where it gets tricky. All right, I guess I'm going to have to go Cannon Card Graveyard, guys. I don't really have another choice. I'm going to go super aggressive and try to take this guy out. Poison Spell going in. Cannon Card's going to end up taking a long time, but the Musketeers are getting really scary opposite lane. Skeletons are getting some damage done. Is it going to be enough, though? Oh, we're so close. Three HP is all that's left. We're going to lose with three HP left on our towers. Oh, the worst way to possibly lose. Three HP. Wait, are we going to hold on? GG. Five and a half minutes of battle, guys, against a hard counter, the hardest of counters. And we're going to end up taking that win. That's how we play it right there. That's how you beat a counter matchup. Oh. All right. I was a little bit sad because we put in so much work to beat that deck, but we're going to end up stealing it towards the end. GG well played. And uh, I, I thought three HP was going to be the death of us. I was definitely going to be so raged if uh, that didn't end up working. All right. Match number two. Let's try not to go against something like that again. Log will be okay to cycle since we do have Tornado and Poison Spell in rotation. Let's see what he does, if anything, against the Log. Looks like he's just going to keep on chilling. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to play anything, but I'm going to do a Cannon Cart just so you guys don't fall asleep, especially after five and a half minute battle. Cannon Cart's going to go ahead and start running on in, and uh, what's going to get done? Hunter's going down. All right, just a little Hunter strolling its way down the lane. Nothing too much else going down. I'll play my Poison Spell, which actually will end up reaching the Hunter uh, to get a little bit of value there. If this Hunter does die, what I can do is play my Tornado to activate the King Tower using this Royal Ghost. Doesn't look like that's actually gonna happen, so I'll go ahead and play my Tornado right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drop my Knight right here. King Tower has been activated, and once again, Royal Ghost, uh, not my favorite matchup. He didn't split those in the last matchup, but uh, I guess that just says more about him as a player. So let's see if this guy actually ends up splitting Royal Ghost, because if he splits Royal Ghost, we're just not gonna have a good time at all. Now, we did take a fair bit of damage on that tower, plus he does have the Elixir lead, so. This could get a little bit ugly. I'll get our cannon cart running down this lane, which should be fine by me. Mega Minion on top. Looks like we'll be all right in cleaning this up. Cannon cart's gonna do a nice job against these muskies. Not really gonna get an offensive push out of this cannon cart, but it was a five for eight or nine for eight elixir trade, combining our two cards together against the three musketeers. Let's just sort of keep it a little more chill now and, and see if he has elixir collector inside of this deck. He hasn't shown elixir collector, so maybe he doesn't have it. He would have played it by now if he had it. So he's gonna, it's actually just the Royal Ghost version, of course. So don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna just keep it slow with our knight right here. If I can tornado his three musketeers same lane, I'm gonna try to do that every opportunity I can. Hunter, uh, obviously going in right now. This might actually, is this the hog rider deck that uses this, all of this? It could be. So gotta be a little bit careful of that. Ice wizard gonna roll on through again. And uh, we're just gonna be hanging out. All right, cannon cart once more running down this lane. Here he goes with his piglets. And finally, we have someone smart enough to split the piglets, guys. Oh, that's not what we wanted. We want to play the dumbest players every chance we can possibly get, and uh, he's going to smarten up and go for those. So playing three Musketeers with Graveyard is never fun, and especially someone who knows what they're doing, guys. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a troublesome matchup. I'm going to get our Mega Minion going down right now. I'm going to go ahead and get our Graveyard going in, but uh, once more, this is going to be a little bit rough. Tornado's going in. Poison Spell on top of this, but I don't think it's going to do much. I banked on my King Tower being able to do something against that Royal Ghost, which it couldn't. And uh, overall, just a huge failure of a push is going to lead to us being in a really bad spot. Now, we've got to do something, and we've got to switch up and stay in this lane. So let's go ahead and do all of this. This is going to be tough, though. We might even defend this side, but the other lane has the Royal Ghost on it. Royal Ghost is going to get way too many hits once again, guys. And uh, we have to get a little bit crazy by playing all of this. Tornado going down. Tornado has to bring all of these over to this side to let my tower try to do something. Or let my graveyard try to do something. Looks like we're going to get some damage in. 
Cannon cart's going down. Log's going down on this side. We got some damage in, guys, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> he plays one more set of Royal Ghosts, and it's GG well played. Knight's going down over here, and uh, we got to wait for these piglets to come out. He might even split these piglets if he's a gangster. Uh, yeah, I can't play Poison Spell. I got to let this run in. Ice Wizard going down right now. Where are the split piglets? Here they are. Going to tornado them. Same lane. Oh, we can't pull them out of the sky. Piglets are broken, guys. Log's going to go down right here. Knight's going down right here. Oh, the Hunter is dealing some serious work, though. 411 HP. Man. All right. Well, we don't have Tornado for the Three Musketeers anymore. These have been some really long matchups, guys. I got to say at least that. These have been some long matchups, and we're holding out against Three Musketeers the best that we can. But that's... I'm going to let those Musketeers lock on, guys. That's going to be GG well played. All right. Sometimes you just weren't destined to win a matchup, and that one right there had nothing going for us at all. Absolutely nothing going for us. I'm proud we got one tower down to 1500 HP. Let's switch it up and get into one more battle after going 4-1 and one inside of this challenge. And let's see if we can just go against something that doesn't have Three Musketeers inside of it. Please. Please, Hin, please from All Star TH. I'm guessing Thailand. I'm hoping you don't have three Musketeers inside of your deck. Do me a solid right now, brother. And I'm going to go ahead and slap my Ice Wizard down in the back. Let's see. Okay, he's got a Goblin Barrel. I like that. We can play against Goblin Barrel. I'm going to log that down. I'll tornado the next one. Uh, Bait. If he has Inferno Tower, this can get a little bit ugly against Bait. So I'm hoping he's playing a ver version that doesn't have Inferno. I'll get my Cannon Cart ready in the back. If he's quick, he could rocket this. Let's see what he does. Cannon Cart's going to sprint in. Ice Wizard going to. Go ahead and get distracted by that Ice Spirit, as always. And uh, he's going to play a Valkyrie right there. Huh. I would have played the Valkyrie in front to protect the Princess, but who knows? That's just me being a gentleman. I'll get our Mega Minion ready right now for this. Mega Minion's going to start cleaning up these goblins and provide a little bit of a helping hand right here. Mega Minion's going to clean up the remainder of that Valkyrie, too, so we can slap a Knight down in the back. And it's sort of just going to be back to normal right now. Oof, this is bad, though, because... Yeah. Oh, we activated the King Tower with that? How did that Goblin stab that? Okay, I thought we weren't going to get any activation right there. So that's why I was a little bit sad. But it uh, looks like it's going to be fine. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Uh, speaking of activations, I'm going to activate this Graveyard right now and try to put in some work. Looks like that's going to do an okay job. Cannon Cart going in now. He does have logs, so we can always be aware of that. Cannon Cart, notice how I placed, placed it, where it's going to go left-hand side. Once this all finishes up, Cannon Cart going to clean that up. Cannon Cart going to clean that up. Cannon Cart going to lock onto the Valkyrie once more, and that's really going to be the end of that. All right, we're still just chilling right now. King Tower has been activated, but you got to log this down since we don't have anything else to play. If we try to, it would be great if we could catch him doing some trick barrels to where uh, we don't have to spend our log on the Goblin Barrel. We can use it on the Goblin Gang. But guys, this is probably going to be another really long matchup <laughs> for. For some reason, we're getting the longest matchups right now. He hasn't shown Inferno Tower, which is good, but um, let's see. All right, Ice Wizard slap. Down. Actually, we'll play our Knight slap down way in the back. He's going to log down. You know, he's. we're both just struggling for chip damage right now. Knight's going to go ahead and run on through. I still am expecting... Okay, so he has Tesla instead of that. Uh, I'll go ahead and tornado all this up. That'll be fine by me. Tesla's going to lock on, so we can play our Cannon card. That's fine. That's fine. Looks like we're just hanging out for now. I'll play my graveyard, actually. Just to try to do something, I'm going to play our poison spell, too. Valkyrie's going in. You can tell I'm really pushing I'm really pushing things right now by playing all of this. Actually, we're going to get some really nice value on this log, guys. Check out this log killing this princess after all is said and done. That's beautiful. We did end up chipping that tower down a little bit for the huge investment that we made. And uh, let's go and get our ice wizard ready once more and try to do something else. All right, well, here we go. Knight's going in again. Graveyard's going in again. I missed the graveyard, guys. How do you miss a graveyard? Chief Pat can show you how. We're going to go ahead and get that poison down. This is looking really good for us again. Another log on top of all of this. This time, we won't get the princess value, so unfortunately, we're not going to get that. We can get our Ice Wizard against this princess, though, I think. Please hit that princess. Oh, no. We got to play our Mega Minion instead. We're cycling super quick right now. Looks like that'll be okay. He actually played a Valkyrie defensively, which isn't going to work, so we can use our Knights. Uh, looks like the Knight's going to do a great job. Tornado going to go ahead and clean up this Goblin Barrel to make sure we don't take... Actually, we ended up missing a Goblin right there, so we're going to take a little bit of damage, but another ridiculously long battle. That's all I have to say, you guys. For some reason today, we're just getting battle after battle after battle of ridiculously longness. I guess that's the saying we're going to go with right now. Ice Wizard up front, log behind. There's not really too much he can do inside of this, so this is solid for us. I guess we're just going to keep on chipping him down with our graveyard. Goblin Gang's going to run in. We can go ahead and use our Knight, because those goblins had a little bit too much HP. And uh, I don't really want to poison the princesses, so I'm going to let this all be. I guess I can poison this Tesla and the princess, which feels a little bit ugly, but it will do a decent amount of work. And uh, let's just go ahead and get with our Mega Minion ready right now. Let's go ahead and get our Tornado ready right now. And once more, just hanging out inside of Clash Royale and not really too much to do. All right, Ice Wizard going down. Let's chip this down, guys. This is the ultimate type of battles right now. Knights can go down so we don't have to use our log, which is really nice. 
I actually can go ahead and log that princess down. I'm going to get ready with our graveyard in a moment. Graveyard's going in. Poison's going to go ahead and go in against this goblin gang. It's actually going to be a Valkyrie coming out, guys. Ugh. Oh. All right, I'm just trying to chip him down with a couple of skeleton hits at a time. That's all I need. A couple of skeleton hits over and over and over again makes a lot out of it. I'm going to go ahead and tornado this, which should be okay. Ooh, we're going to take a lot of goblin. We took way more goblin barrel damage than what we wanted, but still, we're chipping him out. 948 HP, please. By the power invested in me, let me get some graveyard damage down right now. Cannon cart going down up front. Goblin gang's going to be going down. Ooh, this could be spicy when it comes to some damage. Log's going to go down over here. I didn't fall for his tricks. 988, oh, 600. 180 HP, 546, 400 HP at a time, guys. We're going to end up doing this. Mega Minion's going down. He has to play his princess. Ooh, we ended up slapping that princess in the mouth. That was disgusting by that Mega Minion. Well played. Tornado coming down right now for this Goblin Barrel. 479 HP means graveyard, means poison. No mercy on this tower. Give me the dub that I want right now. The princess is going in. The princess is probably going to stop a majority of this damage. All right. Oh, 196. We're in. Po we're officially in poison spell range, guys. I've been grinding my whole life to get to poison spell range, and we finally made it. I'm actually going to go ahead and tornado right now. I'm going to go ahead and play our Mega Minion Earth. I'm going to go ahead and log right there. He's going to go for a Goblin Barrel down this side, which obviously shouldn't work that well. Poison spell going down. GG, well played. I need to take a nap after these battle guys. Longest battles I've ever had using this graveyard deck, but it works. It's a slow grind, but it works. The defensive capabilities of this deck are so strong. Hin couldn't do anything about it. As long as we played this one right, we definitely had that matchup to get that dub. And guys, check first of all, check out my emo deck. I think I need to put in this hog rider. This hog rider is OP, to be honest. What do I want to take out? Hmm. I'm going to take out the laugh. I'm going to check out the laugh, and also the hammer one's pretty good, but I like what I have. All right, go ahead and check out the emo deck, then check out the battle deck, guys, and that's going to do it for this video today. Hope you guys enjoyed this graveyard episode, and let me know how you guys use the graveyard in the comment section below. Do you use a deck like this? Are you using something a fair bit more aggressive with some more tankier units? Let me know. That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.